Hello everyone, this will be my second review for Layer Origins Pure HMO Prebiotic Powder. And as I review some of my own results, I want to weave in some real life research in regard to celiac disease and irritable bowel disease. But here is Alessio Fasano's latest book, Gut Feelings, The Microbiome and Our Health. And I have found uh, Dr. Fasano not only to be a genius, in his research, uh, he's probably arguably the leading researcher on celiac disease, especially with his uh, findings on zonulin, but also to be a very humble man. If you've ever listened to any podcast of his, uh, he really uh, talks about his research in, in, in a very humble way, uh, uh, an exciting way where he enjoys the process of discovery. So if you ever find a podcast with him on it, be sure to listen. But here are the results of my prior video where I, in each, in each case, as I describe my results, the process was the fact that I took a metagenomic stool test in August and then uh, was on five different prebiotic fibers for about four months. Then I took my second stool test in December. And then after that test, I began uh, what uh, a period of taking Layer Origins Pure HMO prebiotic powder, and I had different results from that. And this result from my prior video showed a 14,000% increase in B. adolescentis, which is just you know absolutely amazing in, in my opinion. But what I did was took a deeper dive into uh, the information provided by Biomesite, which by the way, all of my charts and data points come from their website. And I, I highly recommend them, whether you use their stool test or just upload the results from another stool test to their site, which you can do for free. They have just an amazing set of data that you can just keep digging into. In one sense, it's overwhelming because there's so much, but the more you dig into it, the more information uh, you will find. But I want to make a slight correction from my last video. I said that I was on the Pure HMO for 10 weeks. As I thought about it, I thought, no, it wasn't 10 weeks. Actually, actually only seven and a half weeks. The um, container is 45 days of uh, about a two gram scoop, which is what I was taking. And I, I skipped a couple of days uh, here and there. So I'm just going to round that up to eight weeks. So the sort of makes H, the pure HMO results even better because it cuts down the total time I was taking the powder by at least two weeks. So as I took a deeper dive into the data, found uh, some more things, B uh, bifidobacterium stercorus, uh, after the uh, taking the pure HMO, 695% increase there, and at 1.6%, that, that's quite a bit. Uh, B Breve, 430% increase. And you will see as I share these results, the uh, results, uh, you could argue, get a little bit less exciting. That is, the total amounts aren't nearly as high as I got with uh, B. Longum and B. Adolescentis. Nevertheless, I still think there's uh, some real significance uh, to my results. Two different bifidobacterium uh, species, uh, both cases uh, saw a, a large increase again, 7,600% there and uh, a large increase there. Now, again, uh, going from zero, uh, which is essentially undetectable to 0.013% isn't, as I said, not that exciting. Nevertheless, uh, what it's demonstrating, I believe, is that whatever small amounts of these species were in my gut, that the pure HMO was able to, I would say, ignite that. And of course, remember, I was only on this for eight weeks. So one would, uh, uh, ponder, uh, one would conclude pro probably that a longer time period or perhaps more HMO, I spoke of the manufacturer and they uh, recommend even doubling the amount, could result in much higher results, which I am continuing to monitor this going forward. So it'll be really interesting to see how that goes. And a couple of lactobacillus species 
same thing, undetectable amounts in both case, uh, I would say at least igniting whatever small amounts were in my gut. Now, uh, for my total bifidobacterium results, which I did not include on the first video either. So same schedule of four months of five prebiotics and uh, saw a pretty good increase. But then on the pure HMO, the final result was a 370% increase in total bifidobacteria. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter what level you're Bifidobacterium is at right now a 370 percent increase is is really a huge amount and will bring a lot of benefit ultimately to your health which is what i want to talk about briefly next uh, celiac disease there was an article titled is a new treatment for celi celiac disease on the horizon one study is looking at a type of bacteria with the potential to change how the digestive system processes gluten well uh, any guesses as to what that bacteria is? Of course, we're talking about bifidobacteria. Here's the results. Researchers are working on new avenues to treat celiac disease, which looks at probiotics called bifidobacteria that can break down gluten, potentially tame the body's immune response to it. Almeida explains that the study may offer a prospective treatment to bypass the effects triggered by gluten intake in patients with celiac disease. In other words, it could help people with celiac disease digest gluten without their usual symptoms. Thankfully, I have not suffered myself from celiac disease or even what I would say was a, a sensitivity to it, but I think this is really great information to know for those that, that do suffer with those things. Another study from PubMed concluded, these results suggest that with lower levels of bifidobacteria, celiac patients have an imbalance in the intestinal microbiota, regardless of pH, even while on a gluten-free diet, this fact could favor the pathological process of the disorder. In other words, even if you're not eating gluten, if you don't have a proper balance of bifidobacteria, uh, you could still continue to have health results that, that look like uh, celiac disease or, or, or uh, uh, causing you some issue. So that's good to know for bifidobacteria. And then finally, one from the Journal of Immunology Research in regard to irritable bowel disease. Uh, B. longum is a symbiotic bacterium existed in the human gastrointestinal tract. Both animal and clinical trials have found and demonstrated that bifidobacterium longum had preventative and protective impacts on irritable bowel disease. And I'm just posting their results from my prior video. These are my B. longum results. And you see again, HMO had a significant impact on the, that species. Finally, to summarize my results, I started, uh, I was just on a, a, a good diet, a good high fiber diet. And by the way, I have not been on a, any probiotic since early 2021. So I don't think any probiotics are impacting any of these results, but just the soluble fibers. So I went from 0.02%, which is extremely low, even on the biome site, this is their distribution graph, which is I think another helpful way to, to view the same data. And I went for, to a total uh, bifidobacterium of 8.5%. Now you look at this distribution graph and you might say, well, that's doesn't seem like that much of an increase. I mean, there's still, it looks like half the people have more bifidobacterium than I do. But again, just the way these numbers are shown on this distribution doesn't really do it justice. So uh, what that result is, I'm actually in the 95th percentile, which means that only 5% of people, uh, at least on the biome site data points, which is about 3,600 data points, I, I believe, only 5% of those people have more bifidobacterium than I do. And of course, the increase is just huge, huge from 0.02% to a total of 8.5%. So a summary then of my results of taking layer origins, pure HMO, prebiotic powder, a 370% increase in total bifidobacteria, and that is just from taking the pure HMO, a 14,000% increase in B. adolescentis, which represents 41% of my total bifidobacteria. And as I highlighted in my prior video, the adolescentis works with F. prausnitzi, produces more butyrate, which heals the colonocytes, reduces 
leaky gut, etc., which then reduces total inflammation throughout your whole body, which of course impacts things like celiac disease and irritable bowel disease. And then my total results represents a 95th percentile of the biome site data, which is 700% higher than 75% of results on biome site. So uh, that just is another way of, of uh, crunching those same numbers. So I've been very pleased with this product and I have begun to involve my wife and my daughter in also getting these stool tests and starting to take uh, pure HMO. So I will be monitoring all three of our results and report back when I have those findings. Thanks so much.